Welcome to Only 411 Destinations, the world's premier online portal for explorers and travelers that want the most out of life. What good is living a life you've been given if all you do is stand in one place? Get out and explore. Only 411 is here to help. Better get to living and explore the world both near and afar. Only 411 provides you with the information to make your next trip a memorable adventure. Stay informed with Only 411. Click to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and share this video with others that need the 411. When most people think of Louisiana, they immediately think of New Orleans, and this is very understandable. Yet Louisiana has so much more to offer, from plantations and gardens to swamps and beaches. Making a decision as to which place to visit can be difficult, but don't worry, we have you covered with our list of the 11 best places to visit in Louisiana. 11. Rose Down Plantation and Gardens This place is known for being one of the most well-preserved domestic southern plantations. It offers a look at the lifestyle of plantation owners and enslaved people during the mid-19th century in the south. Azaleas, camellias, rare shrubs, and other trees are on the grounds. The Rose Down Gardens were created in 1835 by the owners Daniel and Martha Turnbull and the Turnbull family occupied the mansion for more than 120 years. Number 10. USS Kidd and Veterans Memorial The interesting part is that the visitors can climb aboard a retired destroyer at the USS Kidd and Veterans Memorial, located in Baton Rouge. The ship was active during World War II. Since then, it has only been used in films and TV production. Information on the ship, nautical items, and memorabilia are displayed in the museum. The USS Kidd is named for the rear Admiral Isaac Campbell Kidd Sr., who was killed during the attack on Pearl Harbor. In addition to the ship, the memorial also has an observation tower and a museum. Inside the museum are ancient objects and a duplicate of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall. Children and adults alike will be fascinated by the model ship collection. 9. Spend a day at the beach in Louisiana Louisiana can offer its visitors some great beaches, and with a reputation as a steamy, hot place in the summer, you may be making a beeline for one in short order. One of the best in the Holly Beach is Cola Quayle, referred to as the Cajun Riviera. Located in the southwest of Louisiana, the beach is long, flat, and wide with golden sands. The Gulf of Mexico waters gets pleasantly warm in the summer and the shallow water is ideal for children. A few hours south of New Orleans is another popular beach destination, Grand Isle. This barrier island spreads into the Gulf of Mexico, and the beach here expands for almost an entire span. The wonderful Grand Island State Park offers swimming areas, picnic tables, and a fishing pier. Camping area is also available if you are planning to camp. At the far end of Grand Isle is Port Fortune, the beach here is slightly different. With higher waves, it is a popular place for surfers. Even closer to New Orleans is Lake Pontchartrain and Fountain Blue State Park. This beach has flat, shallow water and a delightful sandy shoreline. A water play area for the kids, showers, picnic tables, and restrooms are off the beach. 8. Vermilionville, located in Lafayette, exhibits the traditions and heritage of the Acadian settlers of the late 18th and early 19th centuries. This living history museum, costume crafts people, and historians reveal skills and folk crafts that have been preserved and given down from previous generations. Artisans can be found throughout the 23-acre area, home to the restored Acadian homes and authentic buildings from the 18th and 19th centuries. The property also offers exhibitions that are featured on a rotating basis and discover the lives of Louisiana's indigenous people. The struggle to preserve the Acadian culture and language and a look at black history from early slavery to civil rights movements are also themes that are covered. Other exhibits include a fascinating look at Mardi Gras traditions in cities versus rural areas. 7. Laura Plantation Located in Vachery, the Laura Plantation has been open to the public since 1994, allowing visitors to tour the 1805 building and property of the Sugarcane Plantation for 180 years. The home contains original period furniture and exhibits highlighting the memoirs of Laura Locale. However, the most remarkable feature of the plantation is its large exhibition 
and it's dedicated to the lives and personal stories of those who were enslaved on the farm. The exhibit explores the complex relationships between the owners and the slaves and various aspects of daily life, from health to religion. Collections contain rare photos and documents that shed light on all but forgotten African Americans who lived and worked on the Kroll farm, as well as other enslaved people in the state. If you've made it this far in the video, make sure you stick around at the end and if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Thank you. 6. Swamp Tours Louisiana is also famous for its bayous and swamps, and luckily, you don't need to venture far from New Orleans to get into the beating heart of the bayou country. In this exclusive environment, you will see extensive swamplands, moss-covered trees, and an assortment of wildlife including alligators, wild boar, wading birds and snakes. Tours are effortless, effortless? Tours are effortlessly arranged and one of the best in New Orleans swamp and bayou boat tour with transport. This two-hour boat tour is led by a knowledgeable and charismatic guide who will amuse you with the Honey Island swamp stories and point out the various critters, large, small, and extra-large living here. The tour also stops the Cajun Village, accessible only by water, where you can learn about their unique culture. 5. Old State Capital Gothic Revival-style Old State Capital makes a dramatic impression on visitors passing by and is equally impressive on the inside. Two huge towers flank the main entrance and the roof is crenellated. The building resembles an old castle and set on a hill overlooking the Mississippi River in downtown Baton Rouge. This historic landmark building now houses a political history museum, including artifacts, documents, and interactive exhibits exploring the state's long history. Visitors can also learn about the building's history and significance in the Ghost of the Castle presentation, a 4D experience hosted by Sarah Morgan's apparition. 4. Melrose Plantation The Melrose Plantation in Natchitoches was first known for its yucca plantation when it belonged to Mary Therese and Claude Thomas Pierre Motier, formerly enslaved people. Yucca House, found on the grounds, was built in the 1790s. The Big House is a West Indies Kroll Plantation house with early Greek revival details. At the turn of the century, Melrose became a home of John Hampton Henry and his wife Kami. Miss Henry enlarged the garden and preserved the buildings. Many writers and artists were guests at Melrose over the years. 3. Mardi Gras One of the biggest events on Louisiana's annual calendar is the Mardi Gras celebration in New Orleans where you should visit. This amazing and colorful event is a huge undertaking with a parade, balls, and street celebrations like none other. Mardi Gras is the Tuesday before Ash Wednesday, but celebrations begin on the weekend leading up to Tuesday. The event draws huge crowds who join in the celebrations and watch more than 1,000 floats go by on dozens of parade routes. To see the floats up close, tourists can visit Mardi Gras World, where you can watch craftsmen building them. Nearly half of the celebration's floats, costumes, and props are created in this workshop. For even more information on this famous festival, you can stop by the Mardi Gras Museum, one of the top attractions in Lake Charles, in the southwestern part of the state. Number 2. National World War II Museum Located in New Orleans offers an in-depth look at every aspect of the war, from the ground war in Europe from the challenges of battle at sea and in the air. One of the most interesting exhibits is Road to Berlin, where visitors have the chance to be absorbed in the past while seeing fully recreated battle zones, complete with the sounds and sights. Other exhibits include the exploration of all the difficulties the Seabees and Merchant Marines overcame in supporting the troops, a vision at how vital support from the home front was to fight, and the details about the D-Day attack of Normandy. The museum shows a variety of media and interactive technology that convey history to life. Exhibits are also full of individual stories and photographs, as well as a large collection of artifacts, including soldiers' items and even a shark-faced P-40 Warhawk. Number 1. New Orleans French Quarter Its stunning buildings date back 300 years, iron balconies spreading over the tourist-filled sidewalks underneath. Visitors gather to the French Quarter for exploration, shopping, dining, and entertainment, 
and the area is crowded during the annual Mardi Gras celebrations. One of the most popular places to visit in the French Quarter is Bourbon Street, which is alive year-round, with crowds of tourists and live music. North Rampart Street is less crowded but has many historic buildings and good restaurants, while Decatur Street is a popular hangout for hipsters. Jazz clubs line the pedestrian-friendly Royal Street, also known for its antique shops and art galleries. Louis Armstrong Park is another famous tourist location, home to the historic Congo Square, where the African-American community once socialized before gaining freedom. This park covers up to 31 acres and includes trails, fountains, and most interesting, a huge statue of jazz legend Louis Armstrong, which we recommend to explore. Are you going to visit any of these places, or have you already made them a destination? Let us know in the comments section below, and hey, if you liked our list of top 10 destinations, then don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to only 411 destinations, and ring the icon bell so you can get notified. Until next time, we hope you reach all your destinations safely.